Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and in between episodes, I have been looking at our factory and I've noticed two problems. So first is one that we've seen in previous episodes where we have uh, sometimes lack of electricity. And this is due to this, all this jumping is the production of uh, different factories and stuff like that. And it does every now and then go into the yellow. So what I was thinking of is we do need to fix that electricity problem. The second thing that, uh, you know, what, we should add this to the to-do list. We did our recycling. Yay. We did that. Um, let's see, bonjo blue circuits and red circuits. I think we did that. Recycle science packs. Okay. We have not beacon and module new, new smelters or all the smelters. And that's one of the things that we definitely need to do. Okay. So add new nuclear power, man. It's funny playing uh, several Factorio <laughs> series at once. I'm like, yes, let's get the dark star. Um, uh, whatchamacallit the, uh, the solar panels or the other things, but I'm like, Oh no, I don't have that in this playthrough. So We'll have to do without, but I am thinking about making a robot network uh, here, extending this section down here for construction only. I've seriously been thinking about this. So that is an option possibly um, so that it's easier for us to deal with this stuff. Um, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we will, because I really don't want to carry all the stuff down there every time. That's another reason why I have put like around here. Uh, and then there are, there are other smelters wh which do not have all the, um, modules in them. Like, uh, was it blue circuits maybe, or ba batteries has none. That's dreadful. Um, but blue circuits, right. These beacons don't have modules. I'm aware. Yes, they have a drain on the system, but I don't really care. I just don't want to carry all these things with me. That's a convenience thing for me. We can produce more than enough power. This is not a problem. And that's what we're going to go ahead and do right now. Um, I'm wondering if I should, I think I should recenter these power poles on the reactors themselves. Why is this not glowing? Ah, because it has no fuel. Look at this. This is not good at all. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh -uh. Okay, we'll have to fix that. So one of our reactors is not running at the moment. That would uh, would help if it did. So I want to... Oh, let's get some power poles. Um, we have no uh, insufficient, or I should say, we have insufficient regular power poles. Let's go grab some of those before we make our way down there. Um, dee -dee 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 -dee. Here they are in the mall. Why am I doing this? Hello, game. Yo, power poles we need. We'll have 50 of those, 50 of these. That should be good. I think the only thing we really need is going to be, we need some pumps. We can make plenty of those. That's good. We have the materials and then we're going to need some pipe to ground uh, or undergroundies, underflowies. Um, but hopefully the factory is going to take care of that itself. Now I want to bring a string of robo ports, <coughs> excuse me, down to this area here. I want to get rid of these power poles. In fact, I should <laughs> do something like this so that I don't get all the trees in Christendom here. There we go. Okay. We have taken care of the power poles. Now, what I want to do is we need to create a robo port network here somehow um, for building. So we'll start here. <coughs> Excuse me, I seem to have something clogging my throat weirdly here. Oh, we need electricity for this. Come on. There we go. And then one here. And that's as close as we can get at the moment. That's okay. We have the construction range, which is quite a bit farther away. All right. So let's go ahead and extend this construction range up here a bit. Just make sure that we have everything sorted out where it needs to be. Okay. That one can connect there because we need to get all of this stuff uh, organized. There we go. 
Now the tricky bit is how to get the Robo ports in between. Um, I'm not really sure how to do that. It depends on how things align. And then we do need, I think we need a radar out here as well. Yes, we do. Okay, because it's a little bit fuzzy on the, on the radar end of things. There we go. Take that one there and we'll just... There we go. Nice. Okay, so all of these got everything working. It is working properly. Excellent. Is this connected? I suppose it must be if these guys are functioning. Um, yeah, these don't... Oh, I, I just couldn't see the symbol. I think it's there, is it? No, no. It is not there. Why is this not there? Yeah. This works. Maybe is it just using... Oh, hello. Oh, the sneakiness is real. Right there. Okay, nice. We got that. Good. So these must be running on partial power because of, of this thing. And also we had this issue here of this thing is not using or is not uh, able to grab from this. So we'll take this here and we'll put a belt in there so this guy can get some fuel. Um, but that doesn't work either <clears throat> because I used the wrong thing. Yes, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, oopsies. It's fine. This is the one we need to move there. That's the one. Okay, good. So now we can get some fuel into this guy and, um, it's interesting that the temperature is already very high. Must be because the other reactors around it are, are functioning too. So <clears throat> hopefully... This should boost our available performance, I'm hoping, uh, so we won't have to worry about stuff. Thank you very much for the tip. I forget who it was, but somebody says you can click on a power pole from anywhere, and I didn't realize this. I thought you had to click on one really close to yourself, but you can click like over here, and it will show you the power graph. There it is. Pretty nice. So we have... Wow. Um, looks like things have been working pretty well generally so i think we're good with that but we do need to add <clears throat> more to our array here i think what i'll do is we need to first of all copy paste this stuff and kind of get rid of this for now go away i'll just get rid of this <clears throat> and then we'll add on the blueprint for this stuff uh i think I think, let me see, do we have, oh, here is our blueprint. There it is. Very nice. Very nice. And this one includes blue undergrounds, which uh, actually will work. Oh, look what we have in between here. This is most excellent. We have spaces for robo ports. Is that not exciting or what? This is very good. Okay. So we want to, the most important thing is to get the neighbor bonuses on the, uh, I'm trying to show this, but it, it's not showing my cursor very well. Anyway, um, is to get the neighbor bonuses. We're going to be able to do this, <clears throat> but before I connect this to the base, I really want, I think I'm just going to put down two more of these guys. Uh, I think we have enough. We've got Covarex process up and running. Why not just double the power? It'll be fine. Um, yeah, and it'll, it'll work pretty darn well, I think. The only thing we need to keep aware of is, of course, connecting these heat pipes here. Okay, this is looking okay. And I think we keep the blue with the blue. This one needs to be a blue right there. We'll just keep red with red. And that will make sense to us, I hope. Oopsies, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to right click it and choose trees and rocks only. Get rid of these. We can actually see what we're doing. That would be quite nice. <laughs> uh, right. And is this just stuff on the ground? Oh, okay. It'll be fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and leave this heat pipe thing connected there. And we'll take the blues out here. And then we'll get our reds. And then the reds will also be inserted there. Take this this way. Okay, and we got our fuel cells. Okay, so these the belt is still working, which is great. Now then, I want to do a couple of things here. First of all, we want to get power hooked up back to the factory. 
So right now the factory is not working at all. We cut off the power completely. So we're going to take this back up to our factory. Uh, in specific, I want this line to be aligned that way. Um, oh, guys, you can take stuff from me. Yes, robots. Thank you. Excellent. Oh, that's so good. Um, and after that, we want to take our roboports downward. I need to go and pick up some more roboports, I think, uh, and a little bit more pipes. Uh, because already our nanobots, of course, started building all of this. Um, but they are very eager, and that's okay. You know, we, we compliment people for doing their job and being excited about the prospect. It's a good thing. So we're happy with our nanobots. All right, let's take some of these guys. Take our roboports down, because we're building this whole kind of line down there. Go ahead and take one out. Um... Yeah, I'm going to build several of these guys, these uh, roboports. Okay, there we go. I think I'll build one every power pole, even though I think we don't, we definitely don't need them every power pole. But there are going to be bots needing to recharge, so we can go ahead and just put these down. They're not going to go in a straight line toward the base, um, so we're, that's not going to be really... I hope it will be useful anyway, you know. Go here, please. And here, please. Okay, and then we are actually getting to this bit. Okay, we'll put this one here. And these are already connecting to this part. So I think we don't actually need them here because if we look at this thing, we have the construction range. If we put this like down here, the construction range is the green bits. So as long as that is connected, we're actually quite good. We're, we're, we're done. We don't need to connect anymore. Okay, let's go ahead and make some more pumps. We need one, two, three, four, I think. So we'll grab five, one, two, three, and connect these to these um, little bits of water here. Okay, where did they go? Oh, dear. I always lose them. There they are. I have nine. Wow. Okay. That's not as many. I wanted them in a different configuration of nineness. Um, be that one. This one can be that one. Perfect. Okay, good. So we'll go ahead and connect these so that as soon as they're done from the world, they'll be, they'll be uh, ready to go. Completely, totally ready to go. There we go. Okay. Um, eh. This one is one of these weird ones. Okay. And then this guy. Actually, we need to go one further. There we are. Much better. Oh, wait. Did that connect? Excellent. It connected. Okay. So we're good with this already. And the bots, look at them. They're going so well and doing things. Are they carrying modules? No, those are heat pipes. Okay, that's good. The other thing I wanted to module was the Coverex uh, process as well. That's another thing that I wanted to do. Oh dear, and we've run out of pipes. Now this is a bit of a problem. Can I craft any? Can I craft enough? That's the question, I suppose. Um, here is where we need to connect them to the water. So a turtle has made it to the water. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think I'll remember that probably for the rest of my life. Jeez. Um, uh -huh. Anyway, it's all good. Let's get rid of this tree. Because trees are the real enemies. We know this. Um, okay. Take this this way. And I need pipes. All right, guys. I don't want you to go that far. Hmm. I want to do this sort of thing. There we go. And this one goes here and connects to there. There we are. All right, there we go. <clears throat> Okay, so this should be producing some steam soon. And of course, <laughs> I have completely forgotten to let these guys warm up first. Yes, this is not ideal. Why are these not... 
Now this is quite interesting. Why are these not grabbing at all? This is really weird. These should be able to grab from a blue belt. This is very strange. They should be able to grab from a blue belt. I don't know why they're not. They're fast inserters. They're at full electricity. There is no reason they are not able to grab from that. That is really odd. Um, wow. Uh, I guess what I'll have to do is just convert these to blue, to yellows. This is really strange. That should not happen. I wonder if it's because it's trying to grab from the underground. But that also should not happen. Hmm. That is like really, really weird. That shouldn't happen at all. All right, well, we will be fine. Oh, all right, we're finally adding some new fuel cells onto the market here. And we are backed up on fuel cells, if you'll see here. Yes, we are. Wow. Okay, we have how many? Wow, one, two, three, four Covarex plants running. This is most excellent. Um think yeah we are getting some stuff so let's go ahead and put speed modules in here i don't think we can use no we can't use productivity so we'll have to use speed which is just fine we're ready for it now gotten all that we need to have let's take off the little thingy majingies oh wow look at this look at all of this uranium going into uh fuel processing here Take off these. Go ahead and put these in there. Somebody says you can fast replace by selecting the module then... Pro oh, yes, you can. Excellent. Oh, that is most excellent. I like this. Okay, cool. I did not realize that. That's a new one for me. I love learning new things about Factorio. Uh, this is really good. Okay, cool. So you can fast replace using that. That is really neat. I want to add the beacons now to this process because it is time. We are ready for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blueprint this guy and then just copy paste and add it. And all of a sudden the Covarex process should go much, much faster, <laughs> much, much faster. Okay. And we'll do this on the same side here. Uh, are they right? Yes, they are right. So one thing that you always want to do, and this may be something that you know or don't know, but I always like to say it for anybody new. Uh, this is incorrect here, the way I have these guys here, because if you align them exactly, like you see the squares where they're on, whereas this one is off one, if you align them exactly, you can fit less beacons per building. Um, so here, if you'll see, we have number of effect sources, nine. Oh, wait. These are going to be variable, though, because of, ah, uh, yeah, I forgot about the stuff in between. But if you're doing something that's consistent, machine after machine after machine, you always want to misalign them. Because see here in the beginning, they are misaligned, but it's just all this junk in the middle. Um, so, yeah, that's something that um, you always want to do because of um, the way they they affect these machines. Look at how fast these are going now. Oh, so good. 450%, 500% on that one. Nice. Very, very nice. I think these guys can use productivity. Is that right? I think they can, right? There we go. Nice. Okay. And then we'll put these here. Productivity can go there. And then we just need... We can do speed beacons as well. The thing is, these are actually full up over here. These things are completely full. And that is not ideal. Wow. I think, though, that we should um, stop this process. Enable disable belts. Yeah, if it's... You can enable if it's less than that much, because I think we're just... We have way too much stuff now. We don't want to have any more. I think we have enough to keep going. Let's see. These guys are still grabbing for their initial dosages of um, U-235. These two, I just enabled those. So I think, but I think we'll have, look at how much fuel we have. We have tons of fuel, mountains and mountains of fuel. This is not an issue. Let's check power again. We can produce a lot of power. 
at the moment. Uh, I think we're, we still need to get some of these guys up and running though. But overall, it should be okay. Are all of our reactors online? Let's just check this first real quick. They look like they're all working. They're all kind of glowing green. That's good. Let's go and um, down here. I just want to check one more thing. Okay, these guys are working. I was wondering if we should have a priority splitter thing. Ah, yes, we we created a priority thing with this. Uh, this was used to be the old way of prioritizing stuff. I kind of missed this construction, really. I uh, I used a lot of those, and now with the priority splitters, you don't need to, uh, which is a little bit sad, <laughs> to be honest. It's quite sad. Um, but anyway, let's see what we have here. We're almost to the 80. Yeah, they're going to collect 80, and then they're going to let stuff go through to the fuel cells. Okay, so now we are able to make fuel cells. We are also collecting even more in here. So... Yes, uh, factories running good on energy stuff. Okay, so we did that. Uh, nuclear power, yes. Now then, coming to the second problem that I identified between episodes here, uh, it is an oil problem, annoyingly enough. Uh, I was looking at our oil section and say, hey, wait, we forgot to, uh, we really did forget to beacon and module this this thing. But it's like, oh, yeah, we don't really need it because maybe we have too much of the other stuff. And it looks like we do have quite a lot of other stuff going on here. We need beacons down here, probably. We need more cracking, it seems like it. I think we did. Did we do some cracking over here? Yes, we did. These guys need to be beaconed and moduled, I think. Um, this one is heavy oil, but we have light oil over here. Are we actually full on? We can't be full on stuff, I don't think. I think this is just... We need to beacon these things. That's the issue here because, yeah, petroleum, there's nothing in the pipes. I think we just need to get it sorted. I was looking at the sulfuric acid stuff and I was like, why the heck is this empty? And it is empty because we have no sulfur crystals, which is empty because we have no petroleum. There's none in here. This is just terrible. So we need to beacon all of these things, I think, um, and get them going. The batteries section needs to be beaconed as well. So this is kind of one of the things that I'm just like, okay, this is, this is our next plan of action uh, for the next little while here. I think what I'm going to do is going to, let's get rid of, I think we're going to auto trash these modules. We don't need them anymore. I would like to get any other speed modules that we might have because that would be useful. Um, I don't think I want, I think I want 50 productivity. Well, now that I'm looking at the oil, <laughs> now the oil, I need to figure out the oil, whether it's a production issue or is it a supply issue? Do we have, oh, we have, we have the supply. It's not the supply. It's definitely the production. So we need to get stuff sorted. This is actually glutted with um, light oil. So that's something that we're going to need to do first is get the speed beacons for that. What are we missing here? All right. Yep. Speed module twos, which are probably a blue circuit problem. Yes, it is. Oh boy. Well, hopefully let's see if we have any blue circuits coming along. Hello. How are you doing? You're missing green circuits. I see that. Do you have any? We don't have any in the chests either. It's very sad, right? This train is going to pick up nothing, unfortunately. Um, I am aware that that train does go without stuff every now and again. Um, let's see, where are you going? Can I click these guys, these trains? Yes, I can. You're going to red circuits. You're going to green circuits, or the base. Going to blue circuits. Ah, this is annoying. I have to say, I'm very tempted just to grab this train and send it off to the other area. Um, but yeah, we need to probably, uh, blue circuits. <laughs> I want some blue circuits. Um, but yeah, we need green circuits to get the blue circuits. But you know, we could, we could just go and grip that train and say, yo, we're hijacking this train, uh, and taking it over. I think I will do that actually. I'm just going to be really sneaky. How many circuits do we have? 31,000 circuits. We're going to get in this train right now. Oh, is that the blue circuit train? No, that's the base train. Wonderful. All right, we're going to go manual. 
We're going to drop off these 31,000 circuits at blue circuits. Just go this way. Mining productivity has been finished. Most excellent. Okay, and now we're on to space science. I guess we're going to have to do it. Rocket silos next. Okay, there we go. Blue circuits are down to the right there. Let's go here. Okay, go to the right. And we will drop these off. Just sneak in here somehow, sneakily. Just sneak, sneak, sneak. And go to the left. There we go. Very nice. Very, very nice. We're going to stop here. I'm going to say, hey, what happened to this train? There we go. We're going to unload 31,000 circuits. Wow. But it's going down. It's good. We really need these blue circuits to happen. That's the thing. But the good thing is we do have our productivity modules in there. So we are producing quite a bit. 60% more um, than normally we would. And because of all the beacons, the, the speed things, it does go at a very quick speed. Because as we know, blue circuits take forever to process 500 seconds. Uh, that's a lot. That's quite a lot. Uh, but of course, this machine is a bit faster. And then we also have the beacons around it. So we're getting some. Thank goodness. Yay. Kind of wonder how many we're going to get on the blue circuit train when it arrives. This is still unloading, which is great. We have how many circuits? Is it done? It is done unloading. Okay, go back to green circuit pickup. Bye bye. We'll see you later. <laughs> Off you go. There we are. So here we're getting 250, 30. Wow. I mean, you just unload thousands and thousands of circuits. What was it? 21,000. So that means if it's 20 green circuits per each, but then you have a productivity of 60%. I can't calculate that in my head, but we should get a few. We should get a few. It'd be fine. Uh, the good thing is all these things are unloading, but I don't, yeah, we really do need the loaders for here. We need to probably fix this train station, but we can do that um, with the, the new loader arrangement that we sort of found. So that'll be nice. I really want to see how many blue circuits are going to be on this train. Um, should come back maybe soon. There it is, probably. Yes, that's our blue circuit train. I really want to see how many blue circuits we can get on this train. I'm just really curious about that. We won't get all of the circuits out of the chests, but it'll be it'll be close, I guess. How many are we getting? 2,000 already. Wow, that's pretty good. That's not too bad at all. Going to get a few more. There we are, 2,000. Okay, 2.1 thousand. This will only wait here for 30 seconds. We don't have long to find out how many. But yeah, now we are completely exhausted. There's very few on the lines here. 2.2K. That's pretty decent. But that's literally an entire train full of green circuits. Wow. Well, not an entire train full. We did leave early. But still, we need <laughs> probably to really massively increase our um, throughput here. Probably we're going to need another copper uh, train station or unload this one more efficiently, I think. Uh, someone suggested that we are we should use a copper cable making assembler out of uh, maybe one of the, the factories, the whistle stop factories. I'm kind of unsure about that myself. I'm uncertain because of, um, well, circuits uh the, the the cable is such that where did it go it's over here yes cable makes two cable per each plate so you have to have double the number of belts coming out that you do coming in so that's one thing that kind of deters me a little bit though we've made it kind of work over here but maybe it is more efficient with trains i could even have two trains coming in and dropping off the cable over here we could use something like um just kind of wondering if we could have like a mini train going from maybe here to there. We could just have a small train going there to there. We could get the copper from here uh, if we make a new copper outpost right there and just put in all of that ore uh, so that the train from here doesn't have to go so far. Would um, That might actually work quite well. 
So we have a lot of options ahead of us. Um, so that's just one of them, but we have now green or blue circuits. So now we should be getting more of these speed modules. Let me just increase this to 400. If we have them, please bots, give them to me. I would really like them. Thank you very much. Excellent. All right. And we'll go now trapes about the map, um, figuring out what's best. I think we'll go first for oil down here and get those going. Do we have enough beacons? No, we don't. Let me go to town and get beacons. We need to have a lot. Um, let's auto trash these guys. Thank you. Uh, auto trash these. In fact, I need to figure out a way to recycle those. Those need to be recycled. Construction bots can be sorted. Yeah, beacons. Let's go get our beacons and then we'll be on our way. We need quite a few. All right, we'll leave two slots there. And here, I'm wondering if we should put in the... Yeah, we could put them right here. We could put the recycling of um, these fuel cells here. Put this this way. Fuel cells. There we go. I think that should work. It should push them side to side, I'm hoping. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if, if that works or not. I don't know. Um, all right. Back to oil, which is just down there. Okay. Just had to look, get my bearings where on the map it might be hiding. Since we haven't visited this area for quite a long time. Right. This can use some productivity modules. I think we don't even need speed modules at the moment for here, but I'm going to put in a couple of beacons, I think. Not not many, necessarily, but just maybe just one side worth. Oh, wow. Oh, I think I used the blueprint. How handy. <laughs> that was very handy. Uh, I didn't even think about that, but yes, it must have worked because I think it did work. It was just bewildering to me. I thought I picked up the beacon thing, but it was actually the blueprint for the beacon with speed bundles. Okay, here's our next um, victim of modulization. There we go. Uh, and we will also, again, add the beacons around this guy. This is going to be pretty important because... You know what? I should have just... Didn't I? I think I made a blueprint for this and I forgot to use it. Pretty sure I did. Okay, good. Come on. Give it here. There we go. Nope. Come on. Brain, work well, please. I need you. Now, how's it going? Okay, it's now suffering with lack of light oil. Okay, so I won't bother beaconing all those or moduling all of those. Looks like we now need light oil. So we'll go back here. This guy is okay. That's fine. I'm wondering if we need... I don't remember if we put pumps there or not. These guys are absolutely full. These guys are going down here. What's going on over here? Ah, here we have... Is this the same thing as over there? Is my brain... Oh, yes, it is. Okay, cool. Put these here. I think something is not quite right, though. Um, I wonder if that other one is getting stuff from the base or not. You know what? There's an easier way to do this. We're just going to copy... Get rid of pipes, all of those, and we can keep the power poles. Just place this here. Nice. Boom. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Take this out. Get another beacon with more modules. Okay, and the energy stuff is still flowing. 
Ah, missing a power pole there. Okay. And the water needs to be reorganized. There we go. Alright, so how's this going? This is... Now we're slow on petroleum. Exiting. Okay, so this is at a good speed, I think. Go back. Now we have issues with what? What do we have issues with now? Aha! We're actually getting petroleum in here. We're filling up the, uh, the wagons, looks like it. Okay, so I think we're actually pretty good on this. So this guy, I think we're going to take this out and we're going to put all the productivity here. Okay. Um, and then try to get modules in here. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Let's see. It'll be fine. No worries. Nope. This is not proper. No, 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 no. Let's remove these guys again. Get rid of that. I'm just going to copy one beacon. There we go. Okay, cool. So now this is going to go faster. And we have the productivity as well. This is really good really really good i'm gonna take this radar and put it out here instead do we have max petroleum we're getting there it is climbing i think yep it is going very swiftly upward okay let's get rid of this take this out and this is very annoying <laughs> what have i done here this is just very very bad okay this one that way. Nice. Okay, we want to make sure this is going continuously. Good, good, good. Yes. Okay. Now then. Uh, <laughs> this is not ideal. Um, I'm going to take this out. Remove this one. And instead, make that happen up here. I think I'll just move the entire pump. Let's see where we can locate this thing. Okay, that should fit there. Offshore pump, put it back. This can proceed onward. Excellent. Okay, that doesn't quite fit there, unfortunately. How are we going now? Aha, now we have too much petroleum. Most excellent. This is a good thing. We have we have more than enough now. I think I'm going to add some extra tanks for petroleum over here. Just because there's no reason not to. Um, just extra storage. Okay, great. This is very, very good. I'm, I'm quite happy with this arrangement. We don't need to put the rest around it at the moment. At the moment, it is stopping. So we have solved that problem. However, I think for productivity's sake, we probably need to do this with batteries. Get these guys going because this is a very, very slow assembly. I'll put that on our to-do list. Let's just add new battery. Batteries. Uh, moduling. Uh, and that'll work. Okay, save. And that is probably going to be that. I think this is this. We've had a very productive episode. We've put modules in a lot of things. We solved problems. So, and we got more power, which is very, very important. So, oh, let's see what we've got over here. It looks like we're still missing some pipes. Are we just not? Well, they are in construction range, but maybe they just haven't been crafted yet or something. Uh, but those are quite important because this entire array of, uh, of reactors is not working um looks like just a couple of these are connected but we're missing a lot of that stuff i wonder if they're not in a proper chest or something up there i should check this let's see do we have pipes in a chest no we do not that's the issue okay so that's another thing let's add that on our to-do list add new pipe pipes 
in a provider chest. Okay. And we'll add that. And that'll be probably the first thing we do in the next episode. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.